Runners Nation, it's your girl Alicia here with another RCGCW. And you guys, it is the start of our winter season. Here I have Miss Danielle Shaw from our women's basketball team. How you doing, girl? Good, how are you? <laughs> and so today we're gonna ask her a few questions about her season last year and how her season's going, a little bit of her goals for next year. So you guys, let's get started. My senior year of high school, I had a lot of plans and uh, goals to go to a four-year school. Uh, that's what I always wanted to do growing up, but uh, I started to realize that it might be better off for me to stay home, uh, go to a two-year school, and then uh, Coach Cooper had reached out to me uh, the summer before my senior year at a summer league, and I didn't really put much thought into it because I had other plans, but um, then my senior year playing basketball in the middle of the season, I tore my ACL and um, it ended my high school career, not the way I wanted to. So I decided I wanted to continue playing. And um, when Coach Cooper hold, heard about my injury, he actually reached out to me again and uh, said good luck with my recovery and that he still believed in me. And that's kind of what brought me here. Um, I wanted to continue playing. Um, I thought there would be a good opportunity. Uh, I knew some of the players on the team, like Raquel and Katie Dunn, and um, I heard good things about the program. So that's really what brought me here um, for basketball to continue and make sure um, it pushed me through my recovery. And uh, I'm glad I chose it here. I like everything about the school, academics, um, basketball. I love it. It's a great opportunity. And I'm really glad the decision I made. So last year as a freshman, we had a great season. Uh, coming in, uh, we had five, six returning players. So I was a freshman and I took on a role to uh, be a bench player and come in when I needed to do and do what I needed to do for the team. And um, we had a really great team. I got along well with everyone as soon as I came in. And we actually made it all the way to nationals, which was our goal. And um, regionals first was great. A um, Couple tough games. It was our, um, our rivals, we beat them after losing to Brookdale in the season. And then uh, we made it to nationals. It was an amazing time, especially getting to fly out to Illinois. Um, it was fun, even though we didn't win. We placed fifth, which was still an amazing experience. Uh, win, or win or loss, I wouldn't want it to go any other way. Going from last year to this year, um, it's a big difference. We lost six of our girls. Um, our only returning players right now are me, Tierra, and McKenna and Bella. Um, I have to take on a position as a, more of a leader. Um, I, wa I want to push the girls, the new girls, because transitioning from high school to college is a big difference. Uh, it's faster, the stronger, especially with the shot clock. You have to move a lot faster, you have to think different. And um, I want to make sure all the new girls are ready because our season is ready to start. And um, our goals are really to get back to nationals, of course, and um, maybe win this year. Uh, right now, I'm a business administration major. And here at RCGC, I'm uh, almost done. I'll be finishing up in the spring. And I plan to go to a four-year school to um, transfer into a, a business admin major. Um, maybe focus on accounting. That's one of the classes that I really liked here at RCGC. Um, uh, in class, I, I mean, choosing my classes, I tend to choose a lot of the hybrids and onlines. I work better that way and it works into my schedule a lot with basketball and uh, work outside of school. And um, I really make sure I put the time into all my classes, whether it's in class or online. And um, so far it's been going pretty well. And I hope to finish out strong here at RCPC. Uh, balancing work, school, and basketball, it's hard sometimes, but I manage to do it. Um, I do my schoolwork in the morning, I go to class when I have to, and uh, then I go to practice, and then sometimes I have to go right to work from practice. I work at a pizza shop, so I go in, I sell pizza and wait on tables for about six hours, and then I go home by 10 o'clock, and I'm usually tired, but there's a lot going on, but I push through it because it's all the things I want to do. It helps me to be where I am. And um, people helping me, of course, are my mom. You know, I just got a new puppy. So when I'm out, uh, when I'm at school and work, she watches over him and takes care of him. 
Um, she's always making sure I have what I need. Um, she always makes sure I'm eating before I leave for school and stuff. So I just want to thank her. And um, without her, I wouldn't be able to uh, do what I do and uh, be here today. So. All right, one last question. What do you think of my layup, girl? I've been trying so much. Uh, it's a nice jump shot. <laughs> oh, thought it was a layup. <laughs> yeah, hey guys, don't forget to follow us on all of our social medias. And when you post one of our lovely ladies, don't forget to post RCGCW. Thank you so much for coming on our show today, Danielle. Thanks for having me. Please don't be filming. The two-handed. <laughs> Look, mm, between the legs. Ooh. 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 Right, right, girl? <laughs> <laughs>